if you are a Vantage software user, speed is important to you. But you should also take quick tools and shortcuts seriously. In this case, I assure you that you will have the highest speed in the workflow of your projects. In this video, we will review some tools needed to start working with Vantage software. These are camera settings, navigation settings, and render settings. Hi, welcome to MIMVIZ. Well, guys, in the upper toolbar, there are quick and concise tools for complete control of the scene. In the previous video, we talked about the transformation tools and other parts. So if you want to know more about it, click on the link above and watch the video related to it. But the first icon is the camera settings, which is related to the quick control of the camera section. You can see the full camera settings on the left side of the screen, and we will talk about it in the next videos. In this section, the first option is Toggle Auto Exposure. This icon enables automatic calculation of exposure. When enabled, ignore the set camera exposure. But we can also manually control the scene's exposure from the lower parameters. The Exposure Bias section adjusts the Exposure Bias value. The Auto Exposure clump sets the Auto Exposure Max range value. The next section is the Pick Focus Point. If you have activated the Depth of Field section, you can specify the focus point using this section. By creating Depth of Field, you can make your rendering more attractive. but you can activate the grid overlay section to organize your camera angle using the composition guide overlay. These are guidelines that most photographers use, but by right-clicking on this section, you can change the guidelines model. Remember that a professional photographer always uses one or more of these guidelines to find the best camera angle. You can also control the color or even the thickness of these lines. But what is Composition Guideline? Let's take a brief look at the Composition Guideline and its effect on photography. Composition in photography is about what to include or leave out of your frame. It's also about how you decide to place the elements in the scene. Rather than thinking of these as rules, think of them as guidelines for making your images more visually appealing and interesting. There are many guidelines for composition in photography, but some of them are most useful. Let's look at one of them together. Golden spiral or golden ratio. This ratio is often seen in nature. The golden ratio is a composition guide. Some people call it Fibonacci spiral, golden spiral, phi grid, divine proportion, or golden mean. It helps to lead the viewer through the entire photo. The composition will be more pleasing and balanced for the human eye. Now let's go back to our scene. Using this guideline, I try to organize my camera angle so that I have a suitable composition. Do not forget to follow the rules of photography and composition. It is very important for a CG artist. If you want a separate video on this topic, be sure to comment for us. Before I continue, give me energy by liking this video. This icon is Navigation Settings. The first section is called Free Look. When you activate this icon, you'll be shown in the first person view. Now, by moving the mouse, you can change your view and move in your scene. In this case, we can go over walls or even objects. But the next section is called Collision. When you activate this icon, enter Collision Mode. You are shown in first-person view, like in free look mode. The difference is that we can't go over objects or walls like in the first section, 
It allows the camera to collide with objects instead of going through them. And now we can climb the stairs like a human. You can even change the eye level. By changing other parameters, we can get to the desired result. For example, by changing the gravity, you can move around as a heavier or even lighter person. But the next icon is navigation around target. In the first case, the navigation process takes place around the mouse cursor. In the second case, the navigation process takes place around the camera target. In the third case, the navigation process takes place around the selected object. But this icon makes the movement of the mouse and the navigation much smoother. The move speed icon controls the speed of our movement in the scene. So, the higher the number, the faster we will move in the scene. But the last section is render setting. Vantage software is a real-time rendering software. So, if you want to stop the rendering process, click on the pause rendering section. In this mode, you cannot move in the scene until the real-time rendering mode is activated. If your plant or fire object is shown like this in Vantage software, then make sure to activate this icon. This process enables opacity map rendering. This is a map that is mostly used in plant material and fire material. But always try to keep the denoise icon active. This section removes the noise of our scene amazingly. You can see how impressive it is in this scene. This is excellent. If you have made any adjustments in the color correction section, such as LUT or exposure and other, you can easily see the effect of this section on the scene by activating or deactivating it. The last section can strongly affect the frame per second in our scene. This icon defaults to current camera resolution and it uses the settings you made in the camera resolution for real-time rendering. But you can increase or decrease this resolution by a certain percentage you can increase the frames per second in your scene. If you don't have powerful hardware, you can use this option. I can go from 10 frames per second to 40 frames per second by reducing the scene resolution by 50%. And this is a great result, and it can have a great effect on the speed of my movement in the scene. But the quality section has recently been added in Vantage 2, this section does not make any changes to the ratio of the image and the resolution entered in the camera settings section. Instead, changing the parameters of the render settings section will affect the quality of the render. But how does this change the parameters? In low mode, the GI will be off and the setting will be set to the lowest setting. In medium mode, the settings are as follows. As you can see, the opacity map is turned off. But in high mode, this option will be active, and we will have better settings that increase the rendering quality. But in ultra mode, the parameters of rendering settings are at their maximum. We will talk about the render settings section in the future. Follow our next videos. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave your comments for us. Goodbye, until the next video.